Okay, so the next tool we're going to do is called Speed Filer. It's probably one of my favorites. It really lets me get around my filing system, which is a pretty complex filing system. So let me bring up the application. Now, as you can tell here, I have a pretty big hierarchy sitting under this. So I say, I put all my messages under saved, and let's just collapse this up. So I've got associates, I've got businesses, clients, important investors, team, and vendors. And as you can tell here, under each one of these, I've just got a ton, a ton of stuff here. So it would be almost impossible for me to drag these emails, especially as many as I get to uh, over to these folders and try to find it all the time. So this is speed filer right here. So it does a couple things. So one of the things, if I click on this, I've clicked on Jeff. If you notice, it says, do you want to file it in the Jeff Miller folder? So it automatically figures out where you're very likely to file it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click on this one and file that in, uh, in, in there. It went to the next one. It says, this is Ed from Activa. So it would allow me to uh, file that. Um, let's say I didn't want to file that there. I wanted to follow, uh, file that under something else. If I just hit the Control Shift V, it'll bring up this dialog. Now I could have done that as well by just saying um, uh, uh, go to uh, I'm sorry Speed Filer here and then open that up and say open it up. And it would have done that as well. But Control Shift V is just real fast to do it. And what it does is it looks and goes, where are you likely to file this? And it's found different places I'm likely to file that. And it looks like that that because of the content of what's on the thing. I can also put it under matching folders, so if I say I want to put it under one called Jeff Miller, if I just start typing, it's going to get closer and closer to what I type. I can also say recent folders, so it'll see all the recent folders. Or if I want to see all the folders, it'll show me that. Now I actually do want that in Activa, so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK, and it's filed away. So it's very, very useful that way. So that allows me to put stuff in the folder, but if I then need to go to a folder and real quickly see it, instead of browsing through the hierarchy, I just go right down here and let's do Jeff Miller again. So I'm going to type in Jeff, it found Miller there, I hit return, boom, I'm looking at his folder. This is so much more convenient than navigating things around. I highly, highly recommend it. Now one of the things you'll notice when you first get into it, which is a little confusing, if I go to speed filer and go to options, there's one thing they set by default which I don't like. It says, action to perform when sending a message. It says, prompt me for a specific folder to file it in. Now, I like to file all my sent messages in my sent folder. That way I get a chronological listing of everything I filed away. It's going to come defaulted to this. I always change that. If you don't change it, it's going to file, when I send something to Jeff or he, I get something from Jeff, it's going to file it in the same folder, which I can see is valuable, but you definitely want to keep, create some kind of a saved search so that you can find all your sent full emails. I think that's a critical one. So I'm going to cancel that up, and we're going to go to the next one.